Hey guys, this is Hamza and today we're going to talk about the 5 hour rule. Before I jump into today's topic, I'd just like to say thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking and most importantly I value your feedback so thank you for your feedback. It's highly appreciated and it helps me improve greatly on my communication skills with you. So go tell your friends, tell your family, have them like, have them subscribe and I look forward to hearing their comments. Oh. Before I jump into today's video, I'd just like to discuss something real quick. I promise it won't take too much time. I am looking for young entrepreneurs in Houston that I can sit down and talk to and we can discuss their challenges and their successes. If you guys know any young entrepreneurs in the area that I could interview, please let me know as I believe that that content will be very valuable for young entrepreneurs and local startups. Let's jump into today's topic. So once again, today we're talking about the 5 hour rule. This topic was inspired as I was reading an article recently about how Warren Buffett, Oprah Winfrey, Bill Gates all attest to this 5 hour rule. They all take out 5 hours during their work week to go and do things that help them be successful. You have to understand that productivity is a very important aspect in your professional life but you have to take out some time during the week in order to invest in yourself and always keep learning. After reading the article, I took out a couple of things that may not be relevant to me, but I still do these four things that I wanted to discuss with you today. The basic idea is just to carve out certain times in the day so that you can focus on improving yourself. Remember, in today's world, if you're not forcefully learning something new every day, you're already falling behind. So here we go. Number one, reading. Reading is a habit of highly successful people. It's easy, it's cheap, and you can do it on your own time. I personally like to read for at least 30 minutes a day. And if I can carve out more time in my day, I will continue reading before I go to bed. So let me just share this. Currently, I'm reading Enlightenment Now by Steven Pinker. I started the book a few days ago and I plan on finishing it in about 10 days. Number two, affirmations. Now this is a habit I learned from my wife and I see her do it with my children every day on their way to school. And it has taught them self-respect, given them confidence and helped them realize that they can make this world a better place. Affirmations are important. It's something that I have started doing every day and I carve out time to say positive things to myself. I'll give you an example. I will carve out time to say to myself every day I will focus on the task in hand, I will lose the ego, I will be kind, I will be humble, I will be strong, many minds are better than one. And if I take those affirmations very seriously, somehow my day becomes more productive. Number three, experimentation. And this is one that I am very big on and I believe is the most important aspect of the five hour rule. I truly believe that if you're sitting inside a box comfortably, your chances of gaining success are very low. Guys, step outside your comfort zone, start experimenting. It could be a new experience. Let me give you an example. This week, I plan on making sales calls for one of my businesses. This is not something I do in the office, but it's a new experience that will help me learn and better myself. Tip number four and the last tip is do not confuse working for learning. If you're putting 40, 50, 60 hours a week working, don't confuse that productivity for learning. Carve out time in your day to forcefully learn something new. After I read that article, I decided that I am gonna learn a new language. And I have to now carve out some time in my day to forcefully learn that new language. So if you guys see me making videos in another language, don't be surprised because you heard it first over here. All right guys, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next video.